everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, I'm not in comic book mode. I'm in colored pencil mode. I love it. I must have missed this one when I was looking through at first. This is super cool. Um, anyway, I asked you a couple questions yesterday. One of them was why Northerners were so angry that Stephen Douglas repealed the Missouri Compromise. Uh, you've already answered the question by now. You've already turned it in. So let's talk about the answer. Um, so <laughs> here's the thing. The repealing that and allowing people essentially to open that back up to a vote um, allowed the possibility for free states to become slaveholding states. So Northerners naturally were furious at this. Um, that debate in their mind was over. Free states were free states. And opening this back up to a vote really put that in jeopardy. Well, as you can imagine, um, Southerners were quite pleased with this because it just gave them an opportunity to expand their slaveholding states or territories. Another question I asked you, speaking of which, this is related, is that um, after that Missouri Compromise was repealed or taken away, people were going to vote in Kansas. So are we going to be a free state? Are we going to be a slave state? What are we going to be? Um, only 1,500 people, about 1,500 people lived in Kansas at the time, but there were 6,000 votes cast. Um, what do you make of that? Well, what I make of that is that people outside of Kansas were voting on this issue, right? <laughs> and again, this just highlights or underscores um, the passionate views people held at this time, one way or the other, regarding this particular issue of slavery. Uh, the Northerners lost, so... Um, Slave owners won that one in that vote of Kansas. And again, that kind of gives you an idea of um, who was rushing into Kansas to vote, even though they didn't live there. All right, you guys. Um, oh, before we get there, today, or wait, it's Wednesday, yes. Today, you're going to be reading about some challenges to slavery. Um, the birth of the Republican Party, some congressional elections, and the repercussions of that. All right, here we go. I need a hand. That's going to oh. be my own. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Number? 20. 20 is the number. And the no Why do I feel like we've done 20? See, now I'm just all discombobulated. I don't know what we've done and what we haven't I don't done. Think we have. Okay, Aubrey says we haven't. I Number didn't 20. Say that. I said I didn't think. She doesn't think we did. All right, so Alex in first hour. Shout out to you, Alex. I didn't even know you played baseball. Thank you for hopping on to an open chat to share part of your life with me. I really appreciate that. And man, have I seen your Overs. work just get better and better and better over this period of time, which seems kind of counterintuitive. But way to go. Shout out to Alex. Woo! Alex, did I ever tell you I have a brother named Alex and a dad named Alex and a grandfather, he's no longer with us, named Alex. Kind of crazy. All right. In hour four, number 20, Cammy. Hi, Cammy. Oh, you're so sweet. See, my voice even gets softer just because you're that sweet. Um, hi, Cammy. I miss you. I haven't seen you a lot in these chats. Pop in or email me. Send me a time that you would be available if you don't feel comfortable in a group chat. Shout out to you. Um, your work, I'm looking at it right now, your work has consistently been strong. It's been on point. Um, and you are a kind, loving human. And I love that about you. Shout out to Cammie. And number 20 in first hour, Maddie. Oh, man, you know, you know what I'm going to say, Maddie. I just love a strong female. So knowing that we have a generation of strong girls growing up to sort of take over. Uh, boys, yeah, you're okay, too. So don't be upset with me. But Maddie, this is about you. Shout out to you. I love 
um, learning about your thinking. Thank you for taking the time to really um, develop your thinking and to share that with me in, Google, in the Google Form platform. It's a lot easier just to have conversations and to try to put all of your thoughts and thinking in a form isn't easy and it would be easy for you to cut corners as a result, but you don't. And I appreciate that about you. So shout out to Maddie. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.